Welcome to 24th of July's World Blessings. Rupin Father says, May you experience and enable others to experience the property and personality of Brahmin life and thereby become a special soul. Bap Dada. Bap means Godfather. Dada means the eldest brother, that is Adam. Reminds all of you Brahmin children that it is a great, it is your great fortune that you have become Brahmins. However, the inheritance and property of Brahmin life is contentment and personality of Brahmin life is happiness. So once we become Brahmin, that means we have received Brahma Gyan, that means we have received the knowledge of the beginning and the middle and the end. We have also received the knowledge of when did we souls come down on earth, what all parts, what all roles, or how many births which we have taken, what is the role of every soul from every other religion, when do they come, when do they go back and how does the world transform. So when we have this Brahman life and the Brahma knowledge, then we become special souls. Why? Because that is a property of contentment which we receive. Otherwise, the world is with question marks in their life. Where is God? Who is God? How did this world come into being? Why there is so much of trouble in the world and all? They have so many questions. But when we become Brahmins, we have all the answers with us. We are without any questions, so we become content. We transform our old nature, our old character, our old personalities which were impure and we start moving towards purity so we become happy with ourselves, we become content with ourselves imagine your house has got a lot of muck inside it you haven't thrown your dustbin in your kitchen and your other rooms out for a couple of weeks and it's stinking smelling will you be happy, will you be content? no now imagine not that to be house, imagine that to be your own mind, your own intellect and your own habits so mind is thinking with impure, dirty, negative, revengeful, angry, greedy thoughts. And uh, intellect is imagining those things happening. You thinking of greedy thoughts. You want everything to your, your own uh, jealousy is there and ego is there with others. And then you enact that in the form of your habits. Will you be content and happy with yourself forever? No. So when our mind and our intellect and our habits are not pure, then we cannot be happy with the inner mind, the inner home that we have, which is our mind, which is our intellect, the habits, that is the soul which we are. So God says, if you are moving towards purity and with the help of this knowledge, you're moving ahead and you're making yourself more divine, then you'll be content and you'll be happy with yourself. So property is contentment, personality is happiness. Never be deprived of this experience, God says, to which you have a right. So those souls who are content and who are happy with this change within don't have to find the change outside. That means they don't have to look for changing their relationships, their friendships, the money, the property, the wealth, the clothes, the looks. They don't have to do anything to become happy and content from within. So external things don't need to change because they are internally they are changing themselves. So God says, never be deprived of this experience. The world is trying to change the level of happiness, the level of contentment by changing everything around and still they are not happy. So God says, since the bestower and the bestower of blessings is giving you the treasures of this attainment with an open heart, you should experience them and also enable others to experience them and you will then be called a special soul. So God is an ocean of knowledge, ocean of purity, power, values and he is giving all the knowledge how to attain that purity, power, knowledge, divinity within us and when we attain that our mind, our intellect, our habits change and then we are happy with our mind, we are happy with our intellect, the purity within, we are happy with the beautiful thoughts which we have, the beautiful habits which we have, we are happy with them. So that's what God wants us to experience. Om Shanti.